A nuclear-free homeland has been a core policy of the Thai administration. Offshore wind has played a large role in green energy policy, with 293 turbines already constructed around Taiwan. But have you ever wondered what it takes to build an offshore wind farm? Today, we look at some of the many interconnected fields involved in wind farm construction. And we ask what it might take if you're looking to get into the industry. Offshore wind will play a vital role in global green energy transition. Taiwan has many good sites for wind farms and it has successfully attracted many firms to construct wind farms here, putting Taiwan in the running for the status of the offshore wind center of the Asia-Pacific region. But hold on, let's not count our chickens too fast. First, we need to lay the basis for offshore wind technologies to thrive by creating a comprehensive industrial chain for wind power. There are many environmental assessment criteria to meet, such as air quality, soil quality, noise pollution, and vibration. All these must be audited and monitored to examine how the development of wind farms is truly impacting the ecosystem. There's a lot of interaction between each step of the process. A minor oversight in one area could have big consequences. When a firm has obtained development rights, it's just a foot in the door. It needs to employ many related companies to construct the actual farm, including the underwater foundations that will hold up the vast turbines. That takes a lot of expertise. The field of offshore wind relies on international cooperation between experts. It's best if professionals develop multilingual skills and interdisciplinary professional knowledge. In the field of regenerative power, we are also attending to costs. So how can we take costs into consideration? Does everyone have basic financial concepts, economic concepts, concepts about risk? Offshore wind is an industry that transects many professional fields. Each turbine is mainly composed of its blades, nacelle and pylon, as well as secondary systems. Monitoring and power generation systems turn the motion of the turbines into electricity. Substations at sea or on land transform the voltage of this electricity to feed it into the grid. From there, it can be transmitted to homes. If you go into the industry, no matter which field you specialize in, you have to remember that the ultimate goal is a regenerative system that can be sustainable.